The first thing is we want to get as many people vaccinated uh, against this disease as soon as we can. Clearly, the main problem at the moment is vaccine supply. So being, if we know that we can safely and effectively use a different vaccine to complete the schedule, uh, that will give more flexibility and make it easier to get more people vaccinated quickly. Looking further down track, we also know, as you mentioned, that heterologous boosting, as we call it, giving a different vaccine for the booster dose can be more effective than using the same one. Uh, you mentioned Ebola. You could also talk about hepatitis B, hepatitis C. Uh, there are a range of diseases where this has been used successfully or, or, or is being trialled. Um, so we might get more effective vaccine, uh, boosting. The question for me is whether that will actually be the case since we're using exactly the same antigen. We're just using a different way of delivering it with the different vaccines. Uh, looking down track, we will soon have new vaccines that will work against the, the, the new variants, which are causing such concern because they seem to evade immune control at the moment. Uh, it will be very interesting, and I suspect they may well do studies on this in the future, looking to see what happens if you use the current vaccine and one of the new variant effective vaccines against uh, for the booster. That would give two different antigens, which might further enhance the boosting effect. So uh, there are all sorts of benefits. But you, you talked there about vaccine supply, but if this first initial trial is not due to end in June, the expectation is hopefully by the summer, certainly in Europe, in the UK, uh, that they will have enough supply of, of vaccines. One would hope so, but manufacturing biological products like vaccines is always uh, dodgy, always prone to, to problems and glitches. So um, it'll do two things. It'll tell us whether it's safe in the future, whether it's actually more effective in the future to uh, mix and match. Um, and it'll also give us a reassurance that anybody who has already had uh, a mix and match approach, whether they have been effectively vaccinated or not.